In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down a 7-man blitz that's going to be able to get in against 7 pass rushers. It's kind of the formula or what you want to do in case your opponent max protects and how to get pressure at a really high level. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for watching today's video. Now if you're brand new to the channel and maybe you've never seen any of my videos before, I make Madden 21 tips and tricks videos both on the offensive side of the ball as well as the defensive side of the ball and try to help you get better on both sides. And so if you have not already subscribed to the channel, I want to ask you right now to go ahead and go down to the bottom right hand corner of your screen and click subscribe because we upload daily tips and tricks four times a day. So you get four tips every single day, one at two o'clock, one at four o'clock, one at six o'clock, and one at eight o'clock p.m. Eastern time. So if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click subscribe. We also live stream every night at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. Okay guys, so I wanted to share with you a defense I really like in particular, in particular against the Gun Bunch. And it's specifically against the Max Protect setup from Gun Bunch. So what I'm gonna do in my coaching adjustments, I have auto flip on, auto alignment to default, ball and air defense to play receiver, option defense on conservative, and then curl flats are on 20 yards. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a, basically a play that is out of my nickel 335 wide defensive guide. So if you haven't picked up the defensive guide, the 335 defense is absolutely insane. It is the best defense in the entire game, primarily because it gives you not only the best personnel in the entire game, you also get the best um, pass, like user blitzing, in my opinion, and the best. You, you get really, really good run defense. You get really good pass defense. You get a lot of flexibility with this defense. So the nickel 335 and nickel 335 wide defense out of the 46 playbook in my opinion, is the best defense in Madden. If you want to pick up the full ebook, the link is in the description of this video. But what we're going to do is we're going to come out in this nickel 35 wide or nickel 35 normal cover four drop, but we're going to audible to Mike Blitz three from the nickel 335 wide as soon as we get on the field. It's really, really quick. All we're going to do is one click over and hit R1, and then we're just going to press coverage. And all we're going to do to set this pressure up is we're going to spread our line, we're going to crash it out. And then the last thing that we're going to do, and what I want you to see here is if they, if the, if my opponent max protects, you're going to see that he is able to pick up the majority of this pressure. As you can see right there, it's pretty much able to pick it up and it's not, you know, conducive to what we want to have happen. So, you know, what do we do with this? Well, there's a lot of different options that you can do as far as getting pressure on your opponent. The trick is getting pressure on your opponent while maintaining really, really good coverage, okay? And so I'm gonna show you a relatively simple formula for doing that out of this nickel 335 wide. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna go to Mike Blitz 3, you're gonna spread your line, you're gonna crash it up, and then all you're gonna do is you're going to basically blitz the slot corner right off of the outside hip of the defense. And what you're gonna do with your users, you're gonna kinda of run him down right to the right, and as you see, we're gonna get pretty solid pressure right off of the right edge. The beauty in the setup is the simplicity. Now, do, by no means do I recommend calling this every single play. Now, one other little adjustment that you can make is you can shift toward the side of the running back. I actually think that helps the blitz a little bit more than having him, you know, be basically on the outside looking in. And what you'll see here is oftentimes you're going to get that rush right off of the edge. Now, one other thing that you can do is you can shift different ways with your defensive line. So, for example, I could shift to the bunch side if I wanted to. Uh, I could do something like this. And, you know, again, we're just trying to simply make it challenging for them. But this little user rush right here, getting some decent pressure. That time we got picked up. But sending seven from 335 wide oftentimes will contribute to you getting a pretty solid pressure, even if your opponent blocks a running back. Now one other way to do this really quickly is to essentially take this player right here who would be in man coverage, I audible to Mike Blitz 3 from man coverage, and essentially what you're going to do is you're going to create a nickel double A gap look. The only difference is what we're going to do is we're going to blitz that slot corner right off the right edge. So now we're sending 7 at our opponent and he's blocking 7 and as you see we're still able to get one person to come in completely un blocked now you can do this from man and you can do this from zone the only thing this requires is that instead of using the middle linebacker 
you're going to use her this middle safety. And the reason that you know you might not want to do that is because it does give a little bit of a tell that you could potentially be basically sending the house. And so they might, you know, be, you know, send more people out on routes or block more people or whatever it might mean. But that is another way that you can do it. So there's several different ways to get this pressure at your opponent. The beauty of the nickel 335 wide, at least in my opinion, is that it's super difficult for them to know whether or not you're going to be sending everybody or you're going to be max coveraging them because you can certainly max coverage them as well but this gets really really good pressure on your opponent one other way that i like to blitz them and this is just in specific situations but what i'll do is i'll go to mike blitz three and i'll spread my line and i'll crash it up and then from there what i'm actually going to do is I am going to take my safety on the right side and I'm going to put him into a hard flat. So I have two hard flats from both of my safeties. I'm going to use her the middle of the field. And then my my left side corner is going to be in a deep half or manned up on the solo receiver. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to blitz both of my corners off the right edge. So you see here we're going to be sending, still sending seven, but we're sending four off of one side. And what you'll see when we do this is we're going to get a nice little overage rush off the edge to be able to get pretty good pressure. Now, again, one of the things that I want to stress here is these are blitzes that are designed specifically for certain situations where your opponent is going to be max protecting. If your opponent is not max protecting, these blitzes will be kind of pointless and to be honest with you, not very effective. So I would recommend running a lot of coverage, getting them in a situation where they may be in a key down and they're not expecting to get pressured, right? They're expecting to have all day in the pocket and you send something like this at them, you're gonna just drag this guy to the left. And as you see here, you can get scream right in, instant pressure against the quarterback in a max protect situation. So that is kind of a couple of different things that you can do. And again, you can do more than just that. You could do something like this, where you shift you know all of these players over and essentially you're running and i know there's a lot of people open on the play i just want to show you the pressure and i just want to show you how hard this pressure really is to pick up and how even though they're blocking seven against seven they're still not going to be able to pick up that blitzing slot corner off the outside so that's a little bit of the 335 wide i want to show you one other blitz as a bonus blitz and this is if they're not blocking people and all you're going to do is you're just going to spread your line. You're going to crash it out out of that Mike Blitz 3. And you'll see you're going to get instant pressure at the quarterback. So there's ways to get it sending if they're max protecting. If they're not max protecting, there's no need to necessarily blitz that slot corner. So just spread your line and crash it out. That's literally it. And if they're not blocking anybody, you're going to get instant pressure at the quarterback. So the nickel 35 wide, in my opinion, is the best defense in the entire game. And I actually just broke down a portion of the ebook in my text message membership. Now it's completely free to sign up for our text message membership. And I broke down a 55 minute video showing you how to run the nickel 335 wide. So if you want to pick up that video completely for free, shoot me a text message. My number is 812-216-3644. It's also in the description and it's also in the top left hand corner of your screen. I want to thank you so much for taking the time to watch today's video. And I would encourage you to come hang out tonight on our live stream every single night at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. I play Madden with my subscribers and basically answer your Madden questions live on stream. Thanks for your time. Hope you had a great day and we'll see you tonight at 10 o'clock Eastern.